Right, rationalising the denominator. Now, what does this mean? It kind of means let's make the denominator look pretty. All right? I don't like that squiggly square root of 11 thing. All right? So, in other words, how could we turn it into an integer? Okay, a nice whole number without all that square root. Well, if you remember your little rules that we've done before, what's root 3 times another root 3? If you remember this, it is just 3. Okay, there we go. So surely, if I multiply a root 11 by another root 11, I'll get 11. And that's how pretty it can be. All right? So, let's have a look at this. Let's just erase some of this stuff. So what I'm trying to get out of this is, okay, let's do, if we turn it into an integer, kind of whole number, then I'm going to do this. I multiply it by another root 11. Okay? Okay, great. Now you can keep on running with this. That equals, of course, 11. Okay, there we go. I have just rationalized the denominator. It's just an 11 now because I multiply by another root 11. Now, unfortunately, if you do it to the bottom, fractions think you've got to do it to the top. Okay, whatever you do to the denominator, you've got to do to the numerator. So, in some ways, you're kind of making the denominator look nice but screwing up the numerator. Because what I've got left here is just what's root 5 times root 11. All I can do for that is write root 55. Okay? And that's it. I can't really simplify that. It does say maybe simplify, but root 55 is root 55. And that's it. So, let's have a look at something else. Um, you know, don't forget, if you want to, you can split these into two separate ones. So 144 over a root x. There you go, two separate things. Now, actually, for this, I can actually write 12. So all I'm doing is kind of cleaning up the numerator. I'm not actually starting this rationalized denominator kind of technique. All right, so there we go. That's what I've got, because I can do the square root of 144. So again, remember the rules. If I want to get just to an x from a root x, I multiply by another root x, OK? So these two, I multiply will give me just the x. But of course, on the numerator, I've also got to multiply by the root x. Whatever you do to the bottom, do to the top. So finally, what do I have? Just 12 root x? Is that it? You know, I can't really do much with these two. All right, uh, that's it. Now, little things like the students make mistakes on. You can't cancel those x's. x on top, x on bottom. One's inside a square root. That is the answer. All right? Don't think, oh, look, x on top, x on bottom. It's not an x, it's a square root of x. All right? So that's it. That is the answer. Um, how about I keep on going a little bit more? Well, maybe. Um, what's, yeah, we'll do question three. OK, so again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to by, by, multiply another root 7 x okay so multiply by another one I've got a root 7 x right now if I multiply by another one I will just have ready for it 7 x okay there we go that looks much better than having a root 7 x okay 7 x now unfortunately because I've done that to the bottom I have to do it to the top remember okay so now remember what this is is you can't do 28 times a 7 in it's inside a square root that root 7 is inside a square root all I can do is write it next to each other so 28 times root 7 X is 28 root 7 X all right there we go that is all I can do okay is that fine um, so root 7 X root 7 X is the 7 X on the bottom 28 type root 7 X is just 28 root 7 X but look, here I can do a little bit of something. Look at this, 28 over 7. Just regular numbers, they're not inside square roots, okay? That gives me 4. 28 over 7 is 4. I still have an x down here. Slight scene, okay, I've done a bit of reduction here. And I've still got a root 7x left, all right? Again, I can't do 4 times 7. It's not a 7, it's a root 7. I can't cancel the x's, so they're not x's, one's a root x and one's an x. Okay, so think about that. That there is the answer. Okay, just look at it. And I think that's okay for that uh, video. So the, the idea behind this is, you know, all of these, look at this one. I would just multiply this by a root 11 over, well, root 11 on the bottom with another one. Okay, so, oh, go on, I'll do it quickly. There's an 11. Okay, root 11 times root 11. Now this is going to be 7, 
what's root 3 times root 11? Just root 33. Okay? There we go. So that's all I can do. I can't simplify anything there. All I could do was, you know, just kind of combine those two into a single root 33. Can't reduce to 7 and 11. That's the answer. Okay?